Hey guys, what's up? It's Lonnie here and I am continuing from um, part one's video. If you have not seen it, please go back and check it out. It's very important because it leads up to everything I'm about to say right now. <laughs> okay, so welcome to Not Just Sunday. I am just um, sharing the vision for what is to come for us and um, just catching all up on a little story um, about um, the journey God has taken me through um, during this uh, current and recent season. Okay, so to be continued. I was sitting in church one day and I was uh, flipping through my Bible case and I still have a Bible case. I'm old school and I have a lot of like notes and, and, and um, you know, just doodles from previous sermons or whatnot, things that I pick up. And so I flip, I find one, an old program, an old insert from one of our previous services and I flip it over and I see on the side from a sermon my pastor preached over a year ago that said, listen to me when I say it said, God is into fulfilling our vision. Listen, I you could have, <laughs> you could have sh tried to shake me and I would not have seen you or heard you. All I knew was that it was just me and God in that moment. And I realized that my faith picture had gotten so small that I had reduced him to a few notes on a piece of paper. And I made a decision within my spirit that from this moment forth, I am going to spend as much possible time as the Lord will allow me to have <laughs> working and yearning, praying, fasting towards fulfilling this vision. That even if Jesus were to come before the the, the literal uh, building of the store, because uh, we're talking about a clothing store, literal building of the store is, is standing, he's going to catch me. Oh! he's going to see faith on earth okay he's going to catch me working towards the vision he gave <laughs> he will not catch me slipping in the holy name of jesus so the holy spirit is going to help me every day every day not just sunday right and so i just it's like i made up my mind i made up my mind i made up my mind and i started to rejoice in the lord rejoice in the lord in advance like ah, i'm rejoicing because i already see the fulfillment of the promise then i went to a sister another sister in christ's house and we were just fellowshipping and out of nowhere, it's like God spoke to her and she says, you are a Nehemiah for this generation. And I go, how interesting. I'm actually studying Nehemiah and I received that. Boom. So that gave me confirmation. Okay. That, okay. Um, not only is God into providing provision, you know, for the visions that we have, but he taught me a new level of dying to the flesh where we have to have the mindset of not only that, but I am the provision for God's vision. Because I started thinking that this idea of having my, you know, our, our own store, not just Sunday store, um, is my vision, but it's not. It's the Lord's vision that he trusted me with to carry it out. And that was for a reason, but I let that ball drop for several, several years, too many years that, I, that I'm a, I was ashamed of even expressing. But to God be the glory, I'm I'm, I'm woke now. So now let's get into the word because that's the most important thing of all of this. Let's get into the word of the Lord. All right. There's a prayer that um, Jesus trained his disciples to pray. Right. And I believe that's in Matthew. I want to say is in Matthew chapter six. But let me see. I got my Bible right here. OK, Matthew chapter six. We're just going to read um, verses uh, nine and ten. OK, uh, maybe eleven if I'm inspired. Okay. Verse nine says in this manner, therefore pray talking to his children, right? So that's you. That's me. Hallelujah. It says our father, hallelujah in heaven, holy or hallowed be thy name. So we worship the Lord first before we ask for anything else. Then verse 10 says your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So the Holy Spirit challenged me and he asked me, how is the Lord's will carried out? Okay, when Jesus left the disciples um, and told them to fulfill the Great Commission, he told them, go ye. Go ye therefore into all nations, uh, baptizing them in the name of the Father and um, uh, um, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, um, you know, cast out, uh, cast out devils, you know, heal the sick, help the blind to see, um, uh, uh, preach the gospel every, everywhere. So uh, I mixed all the, the versions of the gospels that say it together. But it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jesus basically told them that you guys are the provision 
for our father's vision to be fulfilled. Our father's vision is um, for his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. How does that happen? Through you and through me being obedient to his word, to his will. To be doers of the word and not hearers only. But there I was being a hero. Oh, yeah, God wants me to do this thing. Let me draw it. Yeah, yeah, the Bible says write the vision and make it plain. But there's more to that. Habakkuk 2, 2, I believe. There's more to that, that verse. It says, yes, write the vision, make it plain so that he may run who reads it. You're going to write it and just leave it there. You got to be ready to run. Run the good race. I stopped running, y'all. I sat on the bench and let myself, spiritually speaking, I let myself get overweight and tired and lazy. I forgot to stretch. I forgot to exercise. I forgot to eat right. You know, I forgot to uh, 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 train. So now um, God's telling me to run and, I, and I'm rusty. Okay, I'm, I'm rusty. But guess what? God's grace is so, 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 so good. Um, let me take us real quick to another story. Um, this story is in the book of Mark. I'll be quick about it because I want to get to the, you know, the more exciting part about what is to come. This is Mark chapter four. There's, I think this is also in Matthew 13. There's parables and other places in the gospels but this is the parable of the sower okay um just real quickly jesus had just got finished um he gets into a boat and he's teaching multitudes okay i'm reading the new king james version by the way so jesus is saying um listen behold a sower went out to sow and it just so happened that as he sowed some seed fell by the wayside okay the birds of the air came and they devoured it some fell on stony ground where it didn't have a lot of soil. And so immediately it just springs back up because there was no depth to that soil. But um, when the sun came up, it was scorched. And because it had no root, oh my God, because it had no root, it withered away. Some seed fell among thorns and when the, and the thorns grew up and they choked it and it yielded no crop. My goodness. But other seed, listen to what I say. Other seed, now I'm in verse eight. Other seed fell on good ground. And, my God, there's always an and with the Lord. Mm, he, mm, and yielded a crop that sprang up, increased, and produced. Mm, 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 mm. It sprang up, increased, and produced. Sprang up, increased, and produced. Hallelujah. Um, some 30-fold, okay? Some 60, and some 100. And he said unto them, anybody who has ears to hear, let him hear. Mm, mm, okay, and let's scroll down just a little bit more because I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm bubbling up. But when he was alone, those around him, listen to what I say, which means some people gathered just to hear the story and then they slid and went about their business. But those who decided to cling to him, those around him, right, um, with the 12, asked him about the parable. And he said to them, I'm going to stop right here, to you it has been given, you, to you, to you. It has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But to those who are outside, all things come in parables. Okay, um, that there's a whole other message there in and of itself. But what I want us to focus on is, listen, to you and me, it has been given a seed, a vision, an idea, a thought, a theory, a plan, an invention. A phrase, a title, a logo, a, 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 a color, an organization. You hear what I mean? So the Lord plants seeds of inspiration inside of all of us. But the way that we steward it will depict, my God, today. It will depict whether that thing is going to spring up, increase, mm, my goodness, my goodness, and produce. Is it going to multiply? Will there be fruit to bear, will there be um, um, evidence of the fact that God is the one who planted seed in you? That's how you know whether you are being obedient to the fact that you are graced, you are anointed to be provision for his vision. Because when he gives you something, an idea, a, and plants a seed in you, the gospel, the word of God is already a seed. But when he plants something in you, it's because he is seeing with, with the mind, the vast mind of God. Um, he is seeing already the potential of the thing being fulfilled to the max in you. And it is with that um, expression of grace that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross. Because he knew, no, my daughter, my son is going to need something that only a sacrificial lamb could provide um, for them to walk without blemish. For them to walk in their freedom, to, to work towards that vision and that seed that was planted. Whether it's 100, whether it's 60, or whether it's 30 fold. I want to be of the 100 fold. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Okay. So 
before I get more <laughs> more excited and this turns into some sort of a, a digital revival. Um, so let me get to the conviction where God gave me. Okay, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to start and I'm doing this by faith. The Lord told me to build and create a, a store, a company, a fashion company, a faith-centered, faith-focused um fashion company where the evidence of the goodness of God is just all over everything and everywhere. Um, he has laid it out before me. He has made it so clear. And every time I go to him, God, what am I called to? God, what am I called to? He has not changed his response. <laughs> he has not changed his response. He has not wavered. And I thank you. And I thank him that neither has his love for me wavered because there's many times that I'm sure that I have disappointed God because there's moments where it's like, man, I should have been here by now or here by now, but I'm here. But I thank God that he still loves me, that he still saw it fit to give me opportunity to step out on faith and do this. So I'm going for it and I'm inviting all of you in on the journey. Um, the store, the business will be called NJS Clothing Company, as my shirt says. Um, <laughs> um, and we are in the process of raising funds for it. And so we are selling, you know, t-shirts, that sort of things but all of that is going into the necessities of what we need in order to make this thing happen speedily okay so we are going to need to trademark we're going to need a um, warehouse uh, and fulfillment center that we can depend on that manufactures clothing excellently hallelujah we're going to need um, technical uh, pattern designers <laughs> we are going to need uh, tailors we are going to need so much <laughs> we are going to need uh, uh, CAD designers which uh, we are going to need um, um, so people that are wise in terms of legal procedures and law to help us to trademark uh, this thing so we can protect it, all aspects of it. We need people who are knowledgeable about real estate so we can make the proper investments. Um, We're going to need probably venture capital, right? We are going to need a whole bunch. But the most important thing that we need, we got it. Okay. And that's the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Um, I look to the side only because um, I realize that I'm pointing at the camera like I'm a teacher or something. Um, here we go. This is nicer, more pleasant. <laughs> what we truly need, we already got it, which is a word from the Lord. So now all we need to do, all I need to do, when I say we, I mean me and my, my team and the people who pray with me and stand in the gap, you know, for this ministerial business, is that all we need to do is step out and go forward. Go forth. <laughs> go forth we need to go ye all right so njs clothing company is uh it's, just, it's established as happening but we want to do um things right and build it from the ground up so i ask for your prayers uh your support i ask that you stay tuned we will be inviting you guys on every <laughs> part of the journey because um that's the whole point y'all are family so we're gonna invite you guys into this process as well with all of our other uh not just sunday activities thrown in and tossed in as well. So please continue to stay posted on our blog, our Instagram, our Facebook page. Um, as we go and as we grow, um, you'll be able to see how you can sow. Ah, you see how that rhymed and how that went with the teaching? <laughs> Holy Spirit just gave me that. You will see how you can sow. Whether you want to give financially, whether you want to donate your expertise or advice or prayer, you know, we will take all of the above happily. Um, and nevertheless, don't forget that our priority is discipleship through fashion. So the teachings will not stop. As a matter of fact, they will increase. Um, and as that takes place, we will be sure to keep you posted. So here I am, I'm acting in obedience. I will include any necessary links to our, you know, our GoFundMe, our PayPal, or, you know, our Cash App, any area where if you desire to donate or anything like that. Um, will be available either right directly below this video or uh, up top if it's on a different platform. Um, we would just make sure that you are all informed. Um, if you want to join our team in some capacity, we always need uh, writers or graphic designers or um, just, we just just email me <laughs> or DM us. And um, matter of fact, I'll make a more formal post of what it is that we need. But um, we say this and we also volunteer ourselves to support anyone else who's in the same boat where they've been given a vision by the Lord and feel that sense of urgency to step out and fulfill it in obedience. Um, we are here to support you and likewise hold you accountable as we trust that you will hold us accountable. So meanwhile, <laughs> 
thank you all for listening. Um, I pray that this encouraged you. I pray that this caught you up. And, um, and I look forward to um, throughout this process, letting you guys see the behind the scenes of what it takes to really st uh, start, um, produce, um, run, maintain a business. And that you will see me, us, we, the team, as we go through the highs and lows of that, that you will see consistency in the kingdom and that you will see us reflecting the inward and outward apparel of Christ every single day, not just Sunday. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention that the shirt that I'm wearing, we are going to produce more. So they are available. They are for sale. Okay. Okay. So if you want to get your own, there's a scripture in the back. Matter of fact, does my chair turn? Oh God, I almost broke something. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, there we go. There we go. We put the full scripture in the back. All right. So if you would like your own shirt, I believe this, I think this is a medium. Is this a medium or a small? Hold on. This is a small, of course. So small. Small shirt. I tucked it into the skirt. Looks real nice. NJS, not just Sunday. Clothing Co. And you will see. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. Tell me. Matter of fact, look at the logo and tell me if you see a hidden message in there. We'll see. We'll see who gets it. <laughs> if you get it, you true. You feel with the Holy Ghost. You feel with it. You feel with the the Holy Spirit. Like for real, for real. Let's see. Hey. All right, I'm going to leave y'all alone. God bless you and thank you for tuning in.